Hello, and welcome back to Zale's Tales, and welcome back to Undertale. I am your host, Zale, your dragon driving the wagon, and we have another episode of Undertale to get to, so let's jump right in. Alright, we left off, uh, we just escaped the ruins, we had a conflict with our overbearing goat mother, Toriel. Um, but after some convincing, we managed to, uh, we managed to get her to open the exit to the ruins, and that led to the, whoop, I, while I was explaining, I stumbled into a random encounter. I guess that'll have to wait. I guess that's what I get for pacing around in place while I, while I talk. Um, Snowdrake flutters forth. No Drake, attack 12, defense 7. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Better not snowflake out. Yes, the recap will have to wait until after this. It smells like a wait, wet pillow. Alright, well... I mean... If they're a comedian, then the polite thing to do is laugh, regardless of how good or bad the joke is. You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs. Dad was wrong. Snowdrake is pleased with its cool joke. And his name is Yellow, so we may proceed. So yes, we we got to this snowy, snowy land and we encountered two skeletons. Or at least we encountered one skeleton and hid from another skeleton. And it seems that they are looking for humans, or at least one of them is looking for humans. The other one does the other one doesn't seem to really care that much what happens. What is this? This is a box. Fair enough. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same item will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Use the box. What's in the box? Tough glove. I think that's a weapon. I mean, I'll pull it out just so we can examine it. Yeah, some of the item descriptions are very good. Tough glove, weapon, attack five. A worn pink leather glove for five for five fingered folk. All right. Well, I am just going to go ahead and put away our weapons for now. We do not need them. Or we at least don't intend to use them. What is this? A fishing line? It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? I mean, that's what you do. All it's attached to... Uh, all that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird-looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. Yeah, I would... I would not... That, that is an accurate representation of what I would do. I would not call. <laughs> so, as I was saying about Undyne... Sans! Oh my god, is that... a human? Actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is... is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will... I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular! 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 Ahem. Human! You shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then... I'm not sure what happens next. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Okay. He's, he's, uh... Whoop. Ice cap struts into view. Ice cap, attack 11, defense 4. 
This teen wonders why he isn't named Ice Hat. I mean, yeah, that's a reasonable observation, I suppose. I just love my hat, okay? Okay. Um. Okay, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very nice hat. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Envious? Too bad. Okay. It, appear, it appears all we have done is fed into his ego. Um. I don't want to take his hat. Clearly his entire personality is structured around their hat. Alright, what if I ignore the hat? You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. He looks annoyed. Hello, my hat's up here. Uh. Ice Crap is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. Oh wow, it's still not, it's still not yellow. I will continue to ignore. You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Fine, I don't care. Well, you care enough to keep attacking. Ice Cap is desperate for attention. Okay, all right. We just have to, we just have to ignore his hat for long enough. What is this? There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who would have built? Who could have built this? You ponder. I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note: not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Okay. Absolutely no moving. I mean, I better do what it says. We might be here a while. Ah, uh, down with rules. Did someone move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If someone was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. Yes, this is Doggo. Um, what is it? Doggo, attack 13, defense 7. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Don't move an inch. Okay, if you say so. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Well, the only, the only natural thing to do is to pet. You pet Doggo. What? I have been pet! Pot, pet, pet, pot. Oh god, I'm being attacked. I was distracted by the speech bubbles. Doggo has been pet. Can, can we keep petting the doggo? You pet the doggo. Where's that coming from? <laughs> okay, well... I will, I will, I will, I will not, I will not extend this, this dog's confusion any longer. S something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Okay, well. Someone's been smoking dog treats. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move, and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. <laughs> the text color keeps changing. Ice. North ice. South ice. West ice. East, Snowden Town, and Ice. Good to know. It's up here. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please, take a piece of me and bring it very, very far away. Um, okay. Thank you, good luck. You get the snowman piece. Snowman piece. Heals 45 HP. That's quite the healing item. Please take this to the ends of the earth. Okay, so this is a... 
This is a healing item. This is a healing item that we are being trusted not to use. And I will, and I will do my best. I will do my best, Mr. Snowman. You're so lazy. You were napping all day. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Ho ho, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sounds like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Um... Okay, uh. Sans, what did you do? Uh, I think the human has to be holding the orb. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. Uh, poor Papyrus. Hoisted by his own petard. You know what, I'll, I'll shock myself once just to, like, just to... There, ooh, you got me. You got me. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 gold. Yeah, I got some gold. I'll buy some. I'll buy some of your ice cream. Your, sorry, nice cream. Here you go. Have a super duper day. And you know what? I'll take another one. Probably not more than that, though. Two, two is probably fine. Again, I'm role-playing, which is, if I encountered an ice cream salesman, I would just buy two ice creams, even if it was just me. Um, what is this? It is, it is, it's bouncy. It's bouncy, it's very bouncy. I'm, I'm invested in whatever this is. No. Oh. You gotta go. Eh? Well, I feel like whatever this is, I'm doing very badly at it. Haha! <laughs> did it. What I did exactly, I'm not sure, but I did it. Purple. Even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of ball. You are awarded two gold. Cool. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snowdecahedron. Good to know. Oh, hello. I've been thinking about selling treats, too. Want some fried snow? It's just five gold. I mean... This is kind of kind of a goof, but, like, sure. If it's only five gold, sure. Did I say five gold? I meant fifty gold. Okay, now you're taking the piss, Sans. You're right. That's still too low. His... Smell danger rating. 
Snow smell, snowman, white rating, can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell, puppy, blue rating, smell of rolling around. Weird smell, humans, green rating, destroy all at all costs. Yeah, that, that, that seems like it was written by someone who isn't human. That follows their own logic. Human! I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Uh... Monster Kids Word Search. Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? Alright, well... Let's see, I see some of them. We got fall, we got winter, we got spring, we got summer, we got monster, skeletons, mermaid, robot. Cigars, sig, gigas, fix, surf, blabler, and hot. Well, I found monster, I found cigars, I found. I'm not gonna do all this, but I did find. I did find gigas, sig, feb, reb, feber. It is. It is at the top. Okay, well. All right, I did most of this. Can I? Can I? Can I go by? Sans, that didn't do anything. Oops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumbo is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That's easy peasy word. That easy peasy word scramble. That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Um. Uh. I don't think I've ever done a junior jumble, so I, I'm not qualified to say. Uh, I have done crosswords before, and I am very bad at them. So, I'm gonna say crosswords. You two are weird. Crosswords are like. S crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. <laughs> Virus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. Fair enough. No, I'm not. I'm not going to actually finish that. <laughs> It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know that this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. <laughs> Papyrus. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. We have uh, another mouse hole back here. Well, it's frozen, but we do have a microwave here. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. Specialized. Knowing the mouse may one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti fills you with determination. I do appreciate how the name of this save point uh, is Spaghetti. We are currently located at Snowden Spaghetti. Anyway, carry on. Warning! Dog marriage! Okay. Good to know. Lesser dog appears. Okay. Um, <laughs> I see. I see that there are several pet options, but I would like to check first. Lesser dog, attack twelve, defense two, wields a stone dogger made of palmer granite. Okay. Pet, pet. Ah, uh, oh, you got me. You got me. You got me, lesser dog. I am now going to pet you. You barely lifted your finger and the lesser dog got excited. Tiny bark. Oop. 
Oh, jeez. There's... Lesser Dog is barking excitedly. I mean... It's yellow. And if we were... If we were just going through this game as quickly as possible, we could just leave. But, um... I'm, I'm gonna keep petting it. You lightly touch the dog. It's already overexcited. Pent, pent. Ah. Well, I might have to leave. This dog is kicking my ass. You pet the dog. It raises its head up to meet your hand. Pent, pent. I, I will. I will risk defeat just to pet the pet the dog as much as possible. You pet the dog. It was a good dog. Excited noises. Wow, how do, I'm, I'm not actually sure how you dodge that. Um, I must pet the dog more. <laughs> you pet the dog. Its excitement knows no bounds. Excited noises. Yeah, I can dodge that one. Lesser dog is overstimulated. Critical pet. Dog excitement increases. Excited noises. Like it's not even attacking anymore. Lesser dog is overstimulated. You have jumped. You have to jump up to pet the dog. Motor revving. You don't even pet it. It gets more excited. Plane take off. Um, there's no way to stop this madness. <laughs> Kettle whistle. Lesser dog shows no signs of stopping. Lesser dog enters the realm of the clouds. Call the dog, but it's too late. It cannot hear you. Far away bark. Well, you you can reach lesser dog again. Lesser dog is lowering. Lesser dog is lowering. All right, now I don't remember if there's an end to this or not. I have done this for a long time, uh, far longer than I am willing to record, and I haven't gotten to the end of it. <laughs> it's possible that you may have a problem. <laughs> um. Okay, I think I think I'm gonna leave it there. All right, take care, puppy. You won. Yeah, I have I have pushed that joke much farther than I am willing to take the time to record. Uh, it goes on for quite some time. <laughs> oh, I um I am very low on HP. I am going to eat an ice cream, a nice cream. Sorry. What, what does this say? Nice cream. Heals 15 HP. Instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice. Oh. Well, that's nice. You're just great. Your HP was maxed out. Good stuff. Good stuff. What is this? I'm playing in the snow, but there's like... something in the snow? It's kind of hard to see. There's like... X marks the spot. I can't. I can't go this way. There, there are like six-inch-high spikes that I absolutely cannot get around. I guess. I guess with my like tiny, tiny young person body, that's maybe accurate. Is this where the X is? There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. Excellent. that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smelf. Hmm. 
Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you. Dog eye assault you. All right. Dog Amy and Dog Arissa. Um, Dog Amy, 14 attack, 5 defense. Husband of Dog Arissa, only knows only what he smells. Number two, Nuzzle Champs, 98. Of course, we were second. Ah. Oh uh, wait, blue. Out. Um, blue. Don't move for the blue attacks. Dogs are saying sweet things to each other. Um, Dog Rissa. This puppy finds her hubby. Uh, this puppy finds her hubby lover. Smell smells only. Don't touch my hot dog. He means me. Oh, oh dear. Ah. The dogs keep shifting their axes to protect each other. Oh, that's cute. Um. Uh, re sniff. I roll around on the dirt. I roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Uh, good. Take my wife's fleas. Don't actually. Alright, this one act. This one looks very intimidating, but it's actually not that bad. The dogs may want to resmell you. Uh, of course, I'm not a human. I roll around on the dirt, and I am, I am, I am a puppy. The dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. What smells like? Are you actually a little puppy? The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. Um, here. Okay, the dogs already know you smell fine. Okay. They know I smell fine, but they're still attacking me. Oh, if I just not... No, no, I, that one will hit me if I don't move at all. The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. Okay, um... I will pet you. You pet dog at me. Wow, pet by another pup? Well, don't leave me out. The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. Okay. Well, the other one wants pets. You pet the dog, Rissa. A dog that pets dogs? Amazing! The dogs' minds have been expanded. Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. I feel like dogs petting other dogs is like a machines building machines situation. And like, it'll like, go out of control and take over the world. What is this sign? Turn every X into a O, then press the switch. Okay. X is O, X is triangle, well, that's no good. We want X to be O, not O to be triangle. What? How did you avoid my trap? And, more importantly, is there any left for me? Um... I mean... I mean, I left it. I left it... Like, I would have tried it, but it was sort of beyond my capacity to try it. Really? Wowie! You resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta. Just so you could share it with me? Fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean... If it isn't frozen, it'll be a step up. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> okay. 
We got, ooh, there's, there's more X's. Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You are taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle. Yeah, I'm sorry, Papyrus, I was petting a dog for a very long time. By arriving, by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I am saying is, were I not human, I, the great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. And then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Okay. Yeah, I guess it kind of looks like his face. A little bit. Um, okay, um... Alright, there's... No, that won't work. What about... this. We go boop, and then we go back around. Oh, fuck. Damn it. I hit the reset button. I did not mean to. And then we go on this one. And then we go here. Huzzah! Wow, you solved it, and you did it, and you did it without any any. <clears throat> you did it all without my help. Incredible! I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. <laughs> Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. Yep. yep. Did not mean to talk to you again. So, oh. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great Dr. Elphis! You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through them if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, the pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How is that? Understand? Understand the explanation? I feel like if I say no, he's just gonna say it, like, word for word, all over again. So, of course. Great! And there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random! When I pull this switch, I will make a- it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before! Not even I will know the solution! Yeah, get ready! Yep. It's uh Yeah, that's 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 just a that's just a straight hallway is what that is. 
Just a randomly generated straight hallway. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. The machine isn't working. No. Huh. On the floor inside uh, of the on the floor inside is a box of pomeraisins. Aware of dog, please pet dog. It's very dog centric out here. Um, something, something going on out here. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog. It fills you with determination. Hello there. A dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions. But, as it built, it kept getting more and more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer and it added more and more snow until... It was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. Hmm. I see. Slippery ice and slippery X's and O's. I think you just do this. Yeah, it's just like a spiral situation. Huzzah! It's this way. What's up? I mean, what's up with you? Oh, you're got that's creepy that hello again are you lost I don't think I am I mean hello. what gear gear trot confronts you um, attack 16 defense 8 some teens decorated it as a prank oh go ahead and laugh ah, ah. Well, I'm not going to continue to decorate. That's mean. I will undecorate you. You remove a small, confused dog. That's a little better. Gift Trot is slightly less irritated. You removed, you removed the striped cane that says... I use this tiny cane to walk on it. That's a little better. You remove a stocking filled with chicken nuggets. A weight has been lifted. Give Trot's problems have been taken away. What happens if I... Mm, I mean, you're already yellow. I am a little curious what the other uh, act options do, but for now we will we will leave you alone. What's in here? Ooh, something mysterious based on the music. Now, now if you were just playing this game for the first time and you came across a room that was like has this music and it sounds very mysterious. And you realize that you can, like, turn these mushrooms on and off by, like, hitting the interact button on them. And, um, yeah, there's a very good chance that you would spend a very long time trying different things to get this, like, door to open. It's a door. Yes, it is indeed a door. And it does indeed open. But, um... Nothing nothing that you can do at this point in the game will open the door, so this is just a big time sink, which I just wanted to point out this is here, but I'm not going to 
I'm not going to be opening this door. In fact, I might not be opening this door, like, in this playthrough at all. Like, if, if people are very curious, I can say what's behind the door, but... Uh, the conditions for opening the door are actually kind of tricky. Um, if, if I remember them correctly. It's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. Is this a snow puff? This looks like a doghouse. What a tiny doghouse. Woof. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff? It's, is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Eh? There's 30 gold inside this. What is this? It's a snow puff. Is that a snow puff? Oh, that's a... Oh, hello. Oh, okay. It's the greater dog. Greater dog, attack 15, defense 8. It's so excited that it just thinks fight it, it thinks fighting is just play. Greater dog is waiting for your command. Um um Uh, how about I beckon you? You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. Ah. Greater dog is seeking affection. Uh, then I will pet you. Greater dog curls up in your lap and it is as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Zzzz. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Crater Dog is pattering the ground with its front paws. Uh, that's like play. Let us let us play. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Crater Dog picks up all of the snow in the area and brings it to you. That's that's quite a snowball, Crater Dog. The do now Dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Okay. Greater Dog wants some TLC. I mean, I, I have a TLC option. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight onto you. Your movement slows. But you still haven't pet enough. I mean, I, I haven't needed to move. It's just it's just sleeping there. Pet capacity is at, is 40%. You pet decisively. The pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its leg, ha leg hanging in the air. Oh. The greater dog is contented. Alright. Good, good, good dog. Slurp. Quite a view. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror. Whoa. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part, each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm I'm about to activate it now. That um doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, may be too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and I and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. 
The way it goes. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Nyeh! Heh! I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Okay. Oh, welcome to Snowden. Welcome to Snowden Town. Do a save point real quick. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. We have a shop here. Hello, traveler. Can I help you? What do you got? You have tough glove, manly bandana. Um, I mean, if the bandana is armor, we probably want armor. So I will, I will buy a manly bandana. We, we will come in and look at your stuff in a moment. I just need to, I just need to, manly bandana. Armor, Defense 7. It has seen some wear. It has abs drawn on it. Excellent. I require forehead abs. You equip the manly bandana. And I'll put the ribbon in here. And you know what? I'll put the you know what? I'll put the pie in the box as well because I really it's a really good healing item and I don't want to use it. Um I don't want to use it, um accidentally, but uh, the snowman piece, the snowman piece must be with me the whole time. I, I must make sure I do not use the snowman piece accidentally. Uh, I will get some healing items. Was it, we got a, uh, a buy icicle? Heals 11 times 2, eat it twice. That seems pretty good. Um, cinnamon bun heals 22 HP. My own recipe. I'll get a couple cinnamon buns. Maybe like two or three. Maybe, maybe just two. Well, hold on. I have another nice cream. I've got two cinnamon buns. Uh, I'll do one more. Just load up on cinnamon buns. Um, I'll talk to you. Hiya, welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What do you do here? What to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food, and the Librarby has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap in the inn or right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up a camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost, you can... or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Fair enough. Bye now. Come again sometime. Alright. We have the snowman piece, which we must never use. And the ice, and one ice cream, and three cinnamon buns. What a... What, what's the info on the cinnamon bun? A cinnamon roll in the shape of a bunny. Oh, it's a cinnamon bunny. It's not... I mean, it is a cinnamon bun, but it is a, it is a cinnamon bun bunny. A cinnamon bunny bun is what it truly is. 
Excellent. We have three cinnamon bunny buns. Um, what's in the inn? Hello. Welcome to Snowden Inn. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80 gold. That's a... That feels like a lot. I don't think we need it, so I'm gonna leave. Well, feel free to come back anytime. Mom says that sleeping can recover health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Oh, okay, that's worth knowing. So, if... Because what, our max HP is 20? So if we... If we, uh... I don't know, that's like all of our money, though. I don't want to... I don't want to spend all of our money here. I'll, I'll just... I'll just... I'll just continue. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under... under... under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Okay. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. What, this lady? Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee! Bun 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 bun. Okay, well. Good to know. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I dealt with that. It shouldn't be a problem. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Oh, so you could you could give it a present. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. What about you? Yo! You're a kid too, right? I can tell, because you're wearing a striped shirt. Yeah, that's... that. that is how we self-identify as children. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Yep. No problems there. Grillbees. What's in Grillbees? Oh, so many people here. Oh, it's you guys. We're sentries, but we're never getting any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Oh, it's the same, same thing. You better watch where you sit around, sit in, sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump on your lap if you give him lots of love and attention. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Excellent. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everyone who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. No matter where I go, this puts, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and, and hot, hot guys! Hmm. Isn't, hum isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip on their butts. Grillby said he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. <laughs> Fair enough. The jukebox is broken. Okay. Just a chill local watering hole. Oh, I'm going. I'm going the wrong way. Is what I, is the direction I'm going? Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? 
optimistic, I suppose. He's our he's a rock with a mustache. Ah, to be young again. The world sure, sure felt boundless. You aren't going to make me be the human again, are you? Let's play monsters and humans. Okay. Ah, uh, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, uh, my patience rewards me. <laughs> that, that's how I handle most people at my door. Hello there. You have a, um... I feel like your job is a metaphor for something. I also feel like I have worked similar jobs in my life. This is... Okay, there's just a little, little spot there. Whoa. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside. It's empty. Okay. It's locked. It's also locked from the inside. Hmm. Well. Seems like a lovely place, but we should probably... Whoa. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No, 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 this is all wrong. I can't be a friend, you are a human. I must capture you, then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member. Of the Royal Guard! Papyrus blocks the way. Um, okay. Um, let's, let's check. Let's check your deal. Papyrus, attack 20, defense 20. He likes to say, yeah! Yeah! Um, okay. There's a couple of Papyrus whispers, yeah! I mean... I mean, Papyrus, I, 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 I'm interested in exploring this place, but I, I can't do that if you capture me, so... But I, but I also, but you, you seem like a cool guy, so I don't want to fight you either. So you won't fight? Then let's see what, if you can handle my fabled blue attack! What? Uh, oh. Oh, it's it. Yep, yeah, they sure are blue. Look at look at all that blue. What? What? I I have gravity. Oh no, my heart is affected by gravity now. You're blue now. That's my attack. Yeah. You're blue now. Okay. Um. I mean, same strategy. Behold! Uh, Suddenly his attacks make a bit more sense. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. How high can you jump? Ow. I got hit by that one. Papyrus is rattling his bones. 
hold up longer to jump higher. Jeez. Damn it. Virus whispers, yeah. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. <laughs> oh, this is... Ah! Don't use... <laughs> Great. The, um... When we go to the item screen, this snowman piece is, def is highlighted by default. I might need to see if I can change that. <laughs> so I don't use it accidentally. Uh, I will use an ice cream. Are those claws natural? Your HP was maxed out. I can almost taste my future popularity! Yeah! Oh, it got me with the sneaky one. Papyrus whispers. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard! Papyrus is rattling his bones. Papyrus unparalleled spagatore. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Undyne will be really proud of me. Ah. Watch that jump. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. My brother will... Well, he won't change very much. I'll have lots of admire lots of admirers, but Ugh. Ugh. Cinnamon bun. Cinnamon bunny bun. How will I know if people sincerely like me? Oh, it's moving. Oh, they're moving. Uh. Papyrus rattles his bones. Someone like you is really rare. I don't think they'll let you go. I don't think they'll let you go. Oh, no, I gotta not move. Smells like bones. After you're captured and sent away. Uh, who cares? Give up! Give up or face my special attack! I don't know, man. Your regular attacks seem to be doing it just fine. Alright, another cinnamon bun. Yeah, very soon I'll use my special attack. Blue jump, blue jump, blue jump, blue jump. Ugh. Not too long, I will use... The not too long, and I will use that special attack. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. This is your last chance before my special attack. Ah, I always get hit by that last one. Behold my special attack! What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey! You stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey! What are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! 
Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Alright, bring it. Hi, here's an absolutely normal attack. Whoa, I'm not gonna... whoa, 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 easy, easy. Doggy. Cool. Dude. Skateboard. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, wait. Eh. Well, uh, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. Yep, you, you sure showed me, Papyrus. Oh, no. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. I mean... <laughs> it's fine. We, we can hang out. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wow, I have friends. And who knew that I needed, and all, who knew that all I needed to do to make them was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you the directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well... He's in the big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, I can... Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home, being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and hang out. <laughs> Excellent. And I am just backtracking to get back to the save. I'm taking those under snow tunnels to get back to the save point. And we're just going to fire off a save. Because that is going to do it for us. This is the end of the second chapter. We will be moving on to a new region uh, next time. And so please... Join me next time on Undertale, where we'll be moving, seeing what lies beyond the borders of Snowden. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And until next time, take care. <laughs>